What do we have here? That feed pile, the culvert. We got some city beaver. Ooh, they're here and they're starting to dam up the river right here and it can't have it because it'll flood a whole bunch of the city property. So what we have is there's a little beaver lodge right there. I'm assuming it's a couple two-year-olds. It doesn't put together very like well I would say. They just slap some mud on the thing there. There's a run over there and next to that culvert there's also a bank down over there. We're gonna go and take a look at this stuff and I'm gonna set some traps. Whoa! We're in it deep here, boys. All right, well. I'm gonna get more up here quick so you can get a better look at this wannabe lodge. But you can see there's the top of it. There's a bunch of mud right there. There's the feed pile. But right here, going up into under the shoreline here is actually just a, a little bank den well lodge whatever you want to call it but there's a hole going up into this thing here we got a couple 330s i'm going to set one right here then we'll wander down to that bank den down there check it out and here's that feed pile here it's a it's a nice feed pile it's deep around it so it's not like it's put together poorly but around here all the other lodges that i've seen are all mudded up and ready to rock and roll and these runs don't feel very wide so i'm just guessing two year olds anyway Let's uh, get at her. All right, so got a Belial 330 here. That one is going on the bank den down there. Crap, I got a brand new Duke here. I just noticed the springs aren't pushed, aren't compressed on it. There, okay. Got the springs compressed on it now. bad boy don't ever don't ever get lazy and just take your hands off of this if you're holding this at all okay because they can they can hurt you want this trigger bent back a little bit here we go I like that there just like that okay this is the bottom Remove this bottom safety. A lot of you guys have seen me do this a hundred times. Top one, safety wire, you guys. Make sure there's a safety wire. Wire that safety up. You will not sleep at night. You won't wonder if the safety is going to come undone and if you're going to snag up on something and not get the beaver. Okay? So, I have put a couple guiding sticks in here and this hole goes right up in the center of that okay so I have this stick I'm gonna run this right through both eyelets a lot of people ask me why I do this instead of an H stand well to be honest with you right here it'd be hard to get an H stand in I don't in H stands you can't get them you can't you literally can't get the trap right on the bottom in a sandy situation because that bar on the bottom of the H stand keeps the jaws of the trap up off the bottom a couple inches and a lot of those times those beavers they're coming out and their heads right about on bottom so i i've had bad instances in the past where i've used them and i get sprung traps i just don't like it i've caught beaver in them yes but it seems a little more natural to me there is a this is a good live branch here, just so you know. I'm gonna put this on here. Beaver will never be able to pull that out. All right, you can see my trap is on the bottom. You guys, I don't know if you can see this or not. Trap is right there, okay? This, this stick goes in between the jaws, the top corner of the trap. Put it right down between the jaws. See that? Between the jaws, okay? And then slowly go down, push it into the bottom. There you go. Okay. Now, this trap is ready to catch a beaver. Beaver's going to come out right on bottom. 
hit that 330 square and tomorrow morning there should be a beaver here floating but right here next to this culvert there's actually a bank den that they've been living in and this will be a rather easy set unless a muskrat or something comes in here and jams it up but this is a nice straight run right up under the shoreline you guys okay so in this instance if I if I can set a shallow bank den like this and get the trap right on the bottom I'll do that every single time that put together there we go There we go. These Belial triggers will stay up by themselves, generally. So this one here is actually going to get put, get that out of the way here. This one's going to get put right, oh, this one here is not listening to me. This one's going right here, into the bottom of the run. Ooh, I get my safety wire here. Actually, so this this one here on the left is staying up. The one on the right, I must have compressed it a little bit. I'm gonna take this wire off of the side here to keep this one up on the other side, just to make sure. The, that's the thing that makes people not sleep at night. Whether their safeties are going to be caught up on the 330 and they're going to miss that beaver and educate it. Okay. Back up here. Like so. There we go. Definitely not going down now. Okay. Trap's going in the bottom right there. It's not going to get too chilly tonight. Okay, that 330 set pretty nicely. Let's see here. So this, yeah, this is all good. Live tree here. That's the most important part. Making sure your this thing is anchored to a good spot where a beaver's not going to break it off. There's no way a beaver will break that off. Okay, beaver are coming right out of that run. Turn this a little bit, maybe even. Double stake this across the sides here, like this. Oh, and like this. There we go. There was some. There was a little bit of like weeds and ice here. There we go. And. I always, you know, but every time you set a trap, step back and take another look. I'm just turning this just a little bit. Getting this wire out of the way here. There we go. Kind of hide it. There we go, you guys. Two beaver traps set for problem beaver. Hopefully there's a beaver floating there tomorrow. I am more than likely thinking there'll be definitely one floating here tomorrow. Anyway, that is the double set today back for the first check at this little beaver lodge for the city here um, got the lodge there and uh, feed pile there when I got up here there was actually a little tiny otter right in the center of that thing eating fish must have been creek chubs or something he just come up and you could just hear him crunch 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 Actually, kind of hope I don't catch an otter in one of these traps. Someplace else, you know, be more excited. I guess if I do, I do. So, anyway, God, they look like they, I don't know if they muttered it up more last night. Mm, I don't know, let's find out. All right, there was nothing in that trap right there. Um, coming up to this one, though. I don't know. My sticks are 
really messed up here. Is there nothing in this one either? Huh. This one's sprung, that's strange. Really strange, you guys. any hair in it either what's also strange is my 330 look at my triggers you guys how did my trigger get pushed so far off to the side like that when it fired I mean it was in the center someone out here messing with my traps maybe huh well, that's disappointing. All right, you guys. We are back at this lodge here. <clears throat> Looking for levers. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not because these beavers are kind of relentless. Nothing in that, nothing in that trap. Nothing in that 330 there. What do we got? There we go. There we go, boys. That's what we're looking for. What do you guys see right there? Huh? That's what we're looking for. Right there, boys. <clears throat> that was caught last night sometime. That is a nice beaver. In fact, see if I caught him with a head or where I caught him at, but that beaver is his story, as they say. A couple of sticks here, real quick. Oh, pull this out of the bottom here. All right, you guys. Belial 330 hammered this beaver straight by the head sometime before it froze. I'm guessing in the evening. Get him off my thing here. Get you guys a little better look at him. That is what I was hoping for you guys. I knew. There's a, there's a lot of rats in these river in this river too, and they obviously I mean definitely 100% could have sprung my traps yesterday. I don't know, but oh, ew, wrestling Belials starting to get tool for that shit. Belial 330 that can thaw a little bit. Wow, we put this big beaver here up on the bank. Oh, there we go. That's about what I expected here, you guys. There's gonna be a couple of these guys in here. Knock some of that ice off of there for you. Oh. There we go. One beaver down. Pretty sure there's one more in here somewhere. All right, you guys. I caught that beaver the other day down there. Other one's been out here mudding this beaver lodge up. So, obviously one of these traps that have that had sprung educated that beaver, okay? So, what I am doing 
over in this deeper water where nothing can really reach it except for the beavers is I'm gonna put in a caster mound set gonna be warm this week starting today like 50 gotta get this caster on something I don't want this caster like I don't want this smell like all over the place I just want it up here someplace okay so for the time being that's gonna sit up there okay <clears throat> I got chisel this away of course oh I had my hatchet oh or I had my axe I left it in the truck that was dumb of me oh come on guys it's pretty good trying to get a chunk of the shoreline out here I'm just trying to dig a little indentation into the bank here and make the beaver come up here and do some sniffing okay All you have is notch a hole up here, you guys. I'm not even, uh, not even gonna throw any mud up here. The beavers, beaver comes by this and frequents this area all the time. See that caster? Shove it in the back of the hole. A lot of time, I mean, if you're close to the lodge, there's no need to even, <clears throat> there's no need to uh, put mud up on the bank. He'll swim by here. Okay, got a bridger number five here. Oh, these are powerful traps. Not very easy to set, especially when you're out in the frickin' water. There we go, got it set. Set. I'm gonna put my trap right there for the second being here. With my stake. Oh, I'm gonna run that down into the bottom. <clears throat> okay, drowning rod way down there. I don't want to mess this up. The back of my trap is right here. that to be just like that okay beavers come up trap is probably in about five inches of water beavers gonna come up see where see where it's at right here beavers gonna come up to sniff this drop a front foot right into that trap tomorrow morning the other beavers gonna be right there okay all right you guys that was my added set let's see what happens tomorrow all right you guys well we're back at this place here. Hopefully, caught this other beaver in this foothold across the across the way here. Added it yesterday with a little caster on it. If I missed him or anything today, I'm gonna have to come back with snares this winter. Well, he knocked my 330 down trying to come out right here. And I don't. My 
trap is missing here. I don't see nothing floating down there. Oh, there he is. I got him, you guys. <laughs> I freaking got him. That's how you get the smart ones, boys. Look at that. Front foot catch. Oh, that Bridger number five right there. Gosh. Huh. Crazy how one beaver that size even can be trap shy. All it takes is, you know, one of these traps was snapped on its nose and now it won't go near a 330. So that 330 right here, I'll just give you a quick, not run down, but well, yeah, kind of a run down. Okay. So my swivel stick is right here, you guys. Pull this thing out right here. Here's my stake and my trap was actually it was it was swung away from you know it was swung out from the beaver lodge so the beaver came out at some point last night or this morning seen the trap went around the outside edge of it and pushed it out of the way thinking you know all right i'm good this guy doesn't know what's up um he's probably like he's used all his moves on me and that's it doesn't have me so then, added that bridger number five. A little bit of caster is all it took. Perfect front foot catch on that beaver, you guys. That's exactly, and I mean exactly, what I wanted out of this beaver. Sat right here. Yeah. Cool beans.